Okay, guys. Hey, welcome back again. This is Alan. I did want to say that I got my uh, ATI T3 stock in, and I did it, put it on this morning. Um, wanted to have a quick chat about it, and I will do another video about how to install it uh, in the next couple days. Uh, but right now, I just wanted to point out a couple things that, yeah, yes, it does fit. Um, it fits pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. And I don't know if it's good enough for you, that, that'll be up to you. Um, first thing I'm going to point out is that uh, it has taken the length of pull from 14, roughly like 14 and a quarter inches, I think my old one was. Uh, and now, right now we got 13 and an eighth at the shortest position. And all the way out to a whopping 16, I think, if you got really long arms. Yeah. 16 and a half. So... For, for you really long arm guys, you'll probably really like this. Um, for me, this works pretty good. Uh, the cheek piece is adjustable. Uh, I actually find it to work best in the down position, but it only just about a half an inch. But I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, the piece I wanna talk about is here. Now, I have a gap in between here because I chose to install my uh, rear loop sling adapter. And I am keeping that on here, so I'm fine with that. Um, if you don't have this, this actually fits pretty flush. Um, this piece here is actually foam um, that fills this gap. So not the greatest, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. Um, I might try to actually um, figure out something else, like some, uh, some black putty or something to uh, bridge that gap a little bit better. I don't really like the foam. Um, but that's up to you. Uh, fitment issues, uh, like I said, everything went on really, really well. There's you know, just like some minor, like a little gap here. I mean, I'm nitpicking here. Um, but that might smooth out after using it for a little while. And um, I'll be going to use this here today. Uh, I'm gonna go shoot off some a little later. So I'll let you know on the next video how it went. Uh, should be pretty well. Um, other than that, you know what? Um, I think I paid with shipping 120 bucks for the stock. Um, I'm happy with it so far. Um, it feels really nice. The recoil pad is really nice and thick. Um, we'll see how well it works here this afternoon. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. So it's been a long wait trying to find something that fits this. So hopefully all you guys who are looking for one, um, if you can get along, if you can get past these issues here, um, like I said, without this, this comes pretty close. There's still a little bit of gap, but if you have this foam piece in there, you probably wouldn't even notice. Um, but yeah, the installation was uh, pretty simple, honestly. The <clears throat> came with instructions, um, for the most part, better than Chinese instructions. And took me about uh, 15 minutes or so, <clears throat> 10, 15 minutes, not too bad. Um, just requires a screwdriver and a set of Allen wrenches, standard Allen wrenches, not metric. Um, and yeah, that's about it. But I will actually, I'm just gonna show you guys here that it actually is here and it's real. So <laughs> I'm gonna sign off for now. I'm gonna go do some shooting with this here later. And then um, I'll come back and probably within the next day or two, we'll do a, I'll take this back off and I'll do a installation video for those of you who like to see it done versus trying to read the instructions. All right, sounds good. I will talk to you guys later. And you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching.